We had a doctor's appointment, mm -hmm. and you got some upcoming tests that you're gonna do. I'm actually going to redo my mantle, and I'm gonna do it kind of Halloween-ish. I'm going to Pottery Barn. I really like this sofa. Sun's coming up like the day before. Hey, whatever time, three o'clock. Well, I heard you moaning and groaning, and I didn't know what the heck was happening. I turned over and it went again, and I had to come out and get ivy broken. Oh, you poor thing. Uh, today we are doing a fall day in a lot. So, I'm gonna make chili today. Isn't it so nice outside, like a perfect fall day? And um, I've got to go get some stuff. Can you take this trash out for me? Yeah. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. You don't have to wake up. I'm cracking up because I always get a lot of people who ask me about my hair. And I do not have some great hair routine. So I have a tendency to, now my dogs are gonna start barking, wash my hair before I go to bed. And I try not to blow dry it anymore because I feel like it makes it more frizzy. And then I just curl it. Cause look, I already have like naturally frizzy hair. And so, um, actually I could put like mousse in my hair and look like I have a perm if I wanted to after it was wet. So, <laughs> yeah, so I just go around my whole head and curl my hair. I have to do the under layer first because I have really thick hair. And yeah, so today, it's a beautiful day outside. I think the high is gonna be 72, so I'm super excited. So I made my bed, did the dishes, started a load of laundry, and set out hamburger meat because I'm gonna make chili. It's like the perfect fun thing. And then I'm gonna make a buttermilk pecan pie. And um, <laughs> Mr. Bones is coming. And so that'll be interesting. He's going to help me make that today. I'm taking some pictures for Instagram. So you guys can have a little behind the scenes of that. I'm over here thinking about how I'm gonna get him to stand up with the mixer. I think I'm going to use clear packing tape and do his hand, like tape his hands to it and that'll help hold it up and I'll probably have something down behind. But he's so cute. I see a lot of people who do the witches with like, or not the witches, the skeletons with like a witch hat. And so I think that might be kind of cool that I've been doing one with like a little top hat and bow tie. I mean, you know, those male skeletons gotta represent. <laughs> and so I'm gonna do that. And then um, I'm gonna do something that I've been wanting to do and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So, I, well I need to get stuff, believe it or not. Yes, it's only, well right now as I'm filming this, it's the end of September almost. And I'm planning out my Thanksgiving tablescape for YouTube. And I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby to get some things for that. And then um, I'm going to Pottery Barn. I have been saving up. Um, and I've talked about this before, but I'm getting new recliners. And they have the type of fabric there that I'm looking for. Um, it's called Perennials. It's, uh, I highly recommend it if you have kids or pets or someone like me who has a husband who sits in that chair a lot. And I don't care how or what I do. <laughs> It always gets a head spot and so this stuff is supposed to be really awesome for that and so I'm gonna go look at those recliners and see if that's something that will work for us and um, I'm just excited so I'm gonna take you along um, I think I'm gonna go get while well, I'm out since I'm going to Hobby Lobby uh, getting that stuff I also would like to get a new fall candle I don't know if I'll have time to run and do that too uh, some of you know and some of you don't know uh, Jason suffers from Louis body dementia and so I don't like to be gone from him for a long time so he will um, 
but most of them ever gone. It's just a few hours. And I always try to go only during the day, uh, not in the evening at all. That's not a good time. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna sneak away and go do that. And it should be fun. Come back, oh, it's Wednesday while I'm filming this. And I'm a huge Survivor fan. Does anybody else? Like, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys watch Survivor. I love it. And uh, I've been watching it since it came out. And I'm so excited that it's back. So I'm going to be doing that tonight. Woo, party up in here. And it's such a gorgeous night. I want to sit outside by the fire pit. So that sounds so fun. So anyway, I'm going to finish up my hair. And then we're going to get going. I should have been wearing my new kindness shirt today. Uh, have you guys seen those? They're really cute. They're over on my website. Um, they say scattered kindness. And the, the other scattered kindness ones that I've always seen have like the little blowing... Um, what are those called? <laughs> Can't think of what they're called. But uh, I was like... Oh, I always think of fall and I think of like scattering leaves blowing. And so um, I made a design that says scattered kindness with like leaves blowing. So. It's a really cute little shirt. It comes in like a Heather, it's my motion detector, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> it uh, comes in a really cute like olive, Heather olive green. So it's like the perfect color for fall. <laughs> Let this calm down. There you go. That's how I do my crazy, boofy, curly hair. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm pulling out of my driveway and I just realized that one of my ghosts lost his eye. We'll have to fix that when we get back. Hi, so sorry about your weight today. What can I get started for you? Oh, that's okay. Um, Can I get a grande strawberry acai refresher with light ice? All right, and what else? That's it. This is such a weakness. This is like one of my favorite things to get, but I only get one maybe a couple times a month. Spend a bunch of money on that kind of stuff. I love looking at their bedding, but let's go look at their kitchen stuff. I found the furniture that I'm wanting. Now I'm gonna go just look around for fun. I have something I'm looking for, but it's probably out of my price range. But let's go look. Your favorite music gone all the way baritone. Yeah. Shut the lights go. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Got a couple things. I have a really cool idea for Thanksgiving video. Why am I sniffing? <laughs> anyway, I feel like people are looking at me when I'm talking. And so I got a couple things for that and I'm gonna show you how you can spend a lot of money or spend a little bit of money and I think it'll be a really cool idea. Okay, so Jason isn't with me today. I always want to get something to eat that he never wants to get. So, uh, we're getting Chick-fil-A. <laughs> the line's really long, but it moves fast. So, we'll see how long this takes. Hopefully not too long. Okay. So I drove over across the street to the Hobby Lobby parking lot and I'm gonna eat my little kids meal before we go in because I'm hungry and I'm trying to hurry because I feel like I've been gone a long time. Okay, you guys might think this is crazy, but they just put out the blue that I am looking for for my Christmas design this year. Because I'm, oh yes. Because I'm gonna do kind of like a rustic glam. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Oh my goodness, look how pretty those are. Okay. It's all on sale. Okay, we're in Target now. They've got their autumn market out. We'll check it out. I've been seeing these all over Instagram. It's 
It's got nice neutral colors if you're into that. Okay, believe it or not, this is the reason I came because I want to get this for the Thanksgiving table. I am also looking for these. I have the ones from Ikea, but I think I'm going to mix and match them with these for the table. And you guys will see when I put it all together. So I came here to get one of these throws and they actually had it in the color that I'm wanting and that's going to be part actually of my Thanksgiving tablescape. It's going to look really good I think. Alright, I'm almost done. I'm going to head over here and get some buttermilk for our pie and then we're out of here. to buy Christmas so winning I am so so stinking excited about the color blue that they have there because that's just like exactly what I wanted for my tree you guys have all seen my tree and like what my not my tree I can't talk you guys have all seen what my living room looks like and all the blue I have in there I'm so excited to do this kind of tree. I'm like so excited. I'm gonna do like, you get a little sneak preview, but I'm gonna do, okay, so my house is like modern farmhouse and I kinda wanna do rustic glam, so that's why I was getting like, let me show you. Like stuff with sparkle and, oh, let me show you one thing. These, oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. I love the sparkle, the jewel. So, and then I have a lot of things that I've already had um, that will add to the rustic. I'll add some like uh, nature-y type things to it. And of course like picks and everything. All I have left to do is to figure out what I want my tree topper to be this year. I've been using this giant like snowman hat and I just don't feel like that really goes with this, so I'm gonna think of something else. Oh, I gotta get my buttermilk put away. We're gonna get all this put away and get our pie made. Okay, we sanitize this from all that stuff from the store being on here, and then I'm going to get Mr. Bones and take a photo with him like he's making the pie for Instagram and uh, Pinterest, and then I am actually going to make the pie, so, we can have that for dessert for fun when we set out back by the fire pit. And then, cause that's what you do in the fall. That's one of my favorite things to do. And so um, let's do that real quick. And then I'm gonna start making the chili so it can simmer and be all ready for dinner. This day is just flying by, flying by. I'm so glad I picked a day where I was doing fun stuff to do like film because otherwise this would have been so boring if you guys were like watching me work on the computer. That's really boring. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you're enjoying this content and getting a little bit of sneak peeks of like working and thinking of decorating behind the scenes. I'm constantly, constantly. Actually flip it and I'm gonna have him over there where the cute little trick-or-treat sign is and let's do this facing that way because it'll have a, like a better background. Let's move around because I think it'll be better to have like that as the background. Yes I have lighting in here because my kitchen's really dark this time of day. Okay so let's see how we can get him to stand. <laughs> Ah! Rude. Okay, stand back up. 
I gotta show you guys how I have him like really, like how he's hooked on there. <laughs> Look, I have his leg bent and propping him and that other one's propped on that. But I think once I stand here and take a picture, you won't be able to tell. I'm gonna quit being weird. All right, little guy, I gotta actually make the pie now. I'm gonna put this recipe for you guys. It'll be over on Instagram and Pinterest. It's really good. Okay, so we added the butter, the sugar, the vanilla, and now it says add remaining ingredients and pour into pie crust. So it wants three eggs. If you've never had a buttermilk pie, this is a really yummy dessert, as you can tell, because it's got two cups of sugar in it. But it's a really yummy dessert for fall, and it's like a really good dessert if you want to make it for like Thanksgiving. Look at that little beauty. All right, let's put it in. While the pie's cooking, I'm gonna make some chili. Get this on, get this simmering. I do not have some great and fancy chili recipe. I uh, have one that I've used forever. It's just kind of a hodgepodge of things, and we like it. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's what we're gonna make right now. So it can have time to simmer. Honestly, chili's always better the next day. If you make it and then it sits overnight, it's always so much better the next day. But I always add salt and pepper. And let me get this in there. And then just to begin with, like I like to put real onion and stuff in here. But I have this, you guys are gonna laugh at me. My mom used to love to cook with minced onion and it gives off a certain flavor. If you've never had it, you might not think anything of it, but I have to put this in here with the meat when it cooks because I love the flavor that it gets because I think it just reminds me of my childhood. And I'll just let this meat get to cooking. Okay, I'm gonna fold the laundry real fast before it gets all wrinkly. And then, um, so if you guys watched my like simple touches for fall, I did my mantle in there. I'm actually going to redo my mantle and I'm going to do it kind of Halloween-ish. My youngest daughter and my two grandkids from down there are coming up and um, I want to make it just a little more cutesy Halloween just because she loves Halloween. And I just, I don't know, so I want to do that. And so I'm just going to do something, something simple, but change the theme up just a little. And I thought maybe you guys might want to see. I got this cute Halloween sign. I like it. I took most of the rest of the stuff off, and I think I'm just going to kind of switch some stuff out. Um, but keep some of the stuff I have. I got a couple ideas here. I think I'll add in the black since we're doing more Halloween. Okay. Yeah, that sets kind of low. Okay, hold on. In vases where you can't see through them, crinkle up newspaper and stick that down in there. Wait, let me see that's all. Oh, one more. But look, it looks kind of wimpy, so I'm gonna add a few more since I have quite a bit of these. I'm gonna put this cute little burlap and buffalo check kind of in through here. I have this cute like black and kind of white wreath. I think I'm gonna pick this up and put this like coming out from underneath here. Is it gonna be just too ordinary if I went ahead and I put some bats like coming up out of the top on the mirror? I know everybody does that, but I think it might look kind of cute. You don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just look at I'm gonna make a couple plaid pumpkins to match that up there. To wake up yet. 
put a little cinnamon stick in as the little stem. Okay, I have to tell you something hilarious. <laughs> My oldest daughter, Kelsey, she was talking about how I like redecorate and stuff all the time. She said, everything but these candlesticks that you've had forever. I have had these forever. I don't know why I haven't changed them out yet. I still love them and that's okay. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Not too overdone. Just a few little fall Halloween touches to switch it up. And there you go. Look at that. This is my favorite, favorite chili powder seasoning. It's Williams. It's like, it's because it's, again, childhood memory. This is what my dad always used and I love it. And so I'm just mixing a little bit in with some water. I'm gonna put it in here, the hamburger's all cooked. I'm gonna put it in here and like flavor the meat. Let that cook for a little bit. And then I'm just gonna add in some like uh, chili beans and some um, stewed tomatoes and that kind of stuff and just let it simmer together. It'll be so delicious. So we got a weird tradition and every evening we go down and we walk in our neighbor's yard. Good thing we're like really close. Um, she loves to walk in their yard and I don't blame her because it's way more pretty over in their yard than it is in ours. So we have this little path through here and then we are over here in the pretty yard. If you guys watched my afternoon tea outdoors oh no the cat is up there hopefully hopefully she doesn't see it but anyway if you watch the afternoon tea it was filmed here in this pretty garden and so yeah we walk here every night it goes all the way down and they really like it so we're gonna go on our walk and then when we get back I'm gonna see if Jason wants to sit outside by the fire pit because it's such a nice fall evening. Whoa! Yeah, yeah! Ooh! Good job, man. <laughs> How are you? He's a good boy. Evie, come here. You're just over there waiting for the other dog to come out. Okay, so while we're sitting here, no for real. <laughs> You're the good girl. Okay, so while we're sitting here, <laughs> um, just people have just been asking how you've been doing because we haven't really did an update. Just want anything to update? <sighs> Nothing to update. We had a doctor's appointment, mm -hmm. and you got some upcoming tests that you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. And you've been vomiting a lot, but it's getting better. Uh, we're back off the sleep medication. Mm -hmm. um, trazodone. Eh. Not, not, not good for, not good for Jason. Not my, not, uh, not my friend. Pretty much your symptoms are all pretty much still the same. Hanging in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot more, uh, uh, the myoclonic jerks. I'm a jerk. Well, I was going to say, it's probably because he's a jerk. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything else? Nope. Back still hurts. Your, his back is bad. Yeah. Really bad. Um, yeah, other than that, mm -hmm. it's kind of a lame update, but that's quick and it's like, that's why people, and you haven't been wanting to film. I have not. You don't even want to do this right now. I do not. You want to sit here with me. I do. <laughs> so then let's not do any more updates. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Look at her. <laughs>